Um, okay, so my name is Asif Musa, and I'm making this video for the DVSA just to show the problems that um, are happening with the MCU um, and the center screen, so the multimedia center uh, not working. Um, so the first thing I want to show is that the car takes a while to start up. Um, so if we come, so if we sit in the car, and you can see on this on the on the screen there, it says the car is off. So you can see that it says car off and the center screen is not working. So normally when you sit in the car, that dashboard screen will come on and the um, center screen will also come on. So that's just not, that's not going to come on at all. So if you look then at the uh, dashboard screen, um, it says car off. And normally when you press the brake pedal, the car will come on. So I'm just going to press the brake pedal now. So can you see where the writing says car off? So we might just need to move it up a bit there so you can see where it says car off. In fact, if I just hold it here, it says car off. Now if I press the brake pedal now, then it says please wait while vehicle systems power up. And normally that will just happen within a couple of seconds, the car will uh, be ready to drive. But now if I try and put it in, in drive, then the thing will happen and you have to wait and wait and wait and wait. Um, so you can see there's a really long delay in the car actually turning on. Still not ready. If I try and force it, I still keep pressing the brake, pressing the brake, I'm trying to go into, into drive and it's still not working. Still not working. And now it's ready to drive. So now it will go into drive. You can see that. So that's taken all of that time for it to actually go into um, into a status where you can actually drive. So we're going to just put that back into park. Well, the car is now switched on. Um, now I can show you the indicators. So if I press the uh, left indicator down here, so let's just show you that a bit closer. Press the left indicator down here. There's nothing on the screen, no indication that the indicators are working. Press the indicator up, still there's nothing happening. Um, and if I press the hazard warning lights and you can see the hazard warning lights come on and you can see that they're flashing there. What you've also got is the um, air conditioning has come on but that is a fixed temperature of whatever it was when the center screen died. Normally to change the temperature you would need to do it on the screen here and I can't do that so that at some point it's going to cause a problem as well. So I'm just going to turn, turn the hazard warning lights off so you can see that and just to show from the outside the indicators are not working so So the other problem that's quite unsafe and quite difficult to uh, live with is that the charging speed is um, is just a quarter of what it should be, which means that it will take four times as long to actually charge the car at home. Um, I haven't I haven't tried at the superchargers because um, I'm I'm afraid that if I take it to a supercharger and then it takes a long time to charge, then it's going to be a problem. So I can show you that um, if I just plug it in. Okay, so the car's now plugged in, and you can see. On the screen it says 8 slash 32 amps so when you when you plug it in at home normally it will charge at 32 amps which means it will charge at a pretty good speed uh, and within a couple of hours you'll have a full um, battery charge which will enable you to drive around but it's only charging 8 amps out of 32 um, which means it's charging very very slowly um, so it'll take a very long time for it to actually charge up and that causes a big problem. Thank you for watching.